These guys. So far, they're my favorite ones. It's not to say I don't like the other ones. Yeah. These guys. Um, and so while we're sort of talking to county commissioners, um, decided to build a coalition. Because, like, you know, who can do anything alone? We can't do it alone. I mean, we need everybody's voice. We need people to tell us, like, if this is a good idea. So we met with a bunch of businesses. We met with a bunch of labor unions. And, and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. And a bunch of community organizations. So these are across Cook County. I actually have one from McHenry County. I think, I don't know why they want to. Actually, they're pretty cool. Um, and we talked to all these guys. And they said, yeah, OK. This sounds like a good idea. Um, and so the reality is, is that if we go to the Cook County Board of Commissioners and they decide to support this and they have a vote, we can bill about $20 billion in new infrastructure. Now, what exactly the revenue stream is going to be, that's up to the County Board of Commissioners to decide. They're the ones who are making the decision. We're, um, we've done some financial analysis, but we're commissioning another study that will show like exactly what each type of revenue stream will bring in and what federal and state funds it will leverage. Um, so we can say exactly like, OK, this is how you will pay for, um, for all this construction and, and the operations of it as well. So, so 20 billion or million? Billion. With a B. If it was 20 million, I would have paid for it. Yeah. Hey, my name is Ryan Zichek. He seemed really well presented. But, uh, but no, so like $20 billion, which is a lot, is about half of the $40 billion that, in fact, 20 is precisely half of the 40. I took a math class. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's about half of what, what um, LA County does. And granted, their population is about double the size. And they got this Hollywood thing there. Um, but yeah, I mean, the reality is, is that if we choose to, if we choose to all sort of make a sacrifice and put a little bit in, we can actually build this thing. We can change the way everyone in our county gets around. We can create economic development. We can create jobs. We can connect people who have been forgotten forever into the network and where they need to go. Uh, oh, what do you guys think? Am I crazy? Do we have, do you have any questions? Awesome. You do not have questions. <laughs> Yeah, right? That's sweet. So, all right. So, you guys, I'm recruiting you. You're my new army. We're going to go out there and we're going to tell everybody we know about this. Okay. And we're going up. We're going up. <laughs> it's fine. We're going to come down. There we go. All right. Yeah. As far as taxation goes, is this for the price of a cup of coffee uh, a month or something? I can't tell you yet, but very likely, yes. Almost certainly, yes. It's that order of magnitude. Right. Okay. It might be two coffees. Okay. Can you can afford like, that? Like the per capita cost of what it's going to be is actually low. How much are the rights to Sarah McLaughlin songs? Uh, seven dollars. No, I have no idea. What you you about. could like put that into like a sick puppy looking thing, and then <laughs> leverage a Sarah McLaughlin song. <laughs> that's, actually, that's version two. Okay. We're actually doing all right as far as um, as far as like. Getting people on, like at least a sort of look at it goes. Um, we've been live for like four days, five days since Thursday. Since Thursday night, and we've had eighty-five thousand hits to the site. Sort of went like viral or whatever. Yeah, notice this little bit over here. Just because it's a big number doesn't mean you don't have to do your part. So if you care about this thing even a little bit, please do help spread the word. I made a convenient button for you. Actually, Nick made the button. Yeah. Took him like four hours. Nick, is, Nick and Juan are my personal heroes. Well, mostly Nick and Juan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have more policy and politics questions? Because I'm going to talk about the design, and Nick's going to talk about tech. And we're already running pretty long, so. Oh, yeah. So I, I don't shut up. Yeah. I have a good question. So the list of kinds of projects that the future is um, pushing for, are those straight from the CMAP list of projects? We didn't make any of them up. 
Yeah, this is, these are all projects that have been around for a jillion years that local folks have identified. So the second question is, is it, are, are you prioritizing them the same way that CMAP does? Or you're not talking about prioritization, this is just a big picture vision? So these are the projects from GoTo 2040 that are expansion. That are expansion of, like, they have this, they have this stuff called um, unconstrained projects. It basically means projects that are funded and it includes uh, quite a bit of rehab work um, that you know, that, that, that already has sort of existing funding for it. The only existing funding for new transit capital construction is like uh, a capital bill at the state level usually, and that comes along in fits and threats usually or so. Given the turf war that always happens anytime they, there's funding issues between the three transit agencies, have has that already been settled or is there going to come a time when RTA or PACE or downstate stakeholders are going to go, now wait a minute, you need to get me me being in charge and me have control. Well, first of all, downstate can't do shit, thankfully, because uh, it's local. It's local money, right? Downstate could maybe convince the feds not to go slow, and that's about the only way in which they could block it. Well, this. that's not entirely accurate. I mean, the whole, the whole thing about this is we're not talking about, like, all of us getting together and writing a check for $20 billion. We're talking about using this as a match for state grant funds, because you always need a local match. Mm -hmm. um, so like the state is, is important in this. Now, whether or not they are going to like, somebody's going to cause a hissy bit about something, I don't know. The reality is, is that if any of this, like for these particular projects to get built, it takes people getting organized, and it takes people advocating for it. So it takes people engaging the process, right? Yeah. Um, one of the sections in our plan is on efficient governance, and within there we have a section on taxes and tax policy and improving that for the region. And the thing with sales taxes is they are regressive, so if you need to buy bread and food for your family, a sales tax is going to hurt poor people the most. And one of our recommendations is to expand taxes to services, because services are more likely to be used by people of higher income. And right now, we're one of the few states that really doesn't tax services. Have you guys been looking into expanding, like broadening the tax base? So th this is an idea that I think um, I think it's an important idea, and I think a lot, like, it's been sort of bouncing around for a long time. And yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, what you can do is you can broaden the base and lower the rate, and still be able to do really cool stuff like this. The only issue is that um, you need the state. The state has to pass a law allowing um, allowing services to be taxed. And so like that's that's a whole other can of worms to get into. But what like what the Cook County Board can do right now um, is it's a range of different things that they have the ability to do. So it's like sales tax, gas tax, property tax, cook parking fees, development fees, any of this type of stuff. So we we looked at what was what was possible at this particular level. Um, and this is, you know, this is sort of what's going on with it. But yeah, I think you're right. You're right with the service settings. So, so what you guys are doing, are you guys for or against right now for RTA? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a separate issue. We're saying build more stuff. The transit future is not about merging agencies, don't merge them. It's yeah. a separate issue. What about the advocacy with the troops that brought in the, uh, the mayor from LA? Oh, that was us. Oh, that was you guys? <laughs> yeah, that, that was our launch last Thursday. Yeah, we, we, it was pretty cool. Like, and we got together and like, um, we sort of launched it. And it was the same time that we launched this website. Yeah, Chris. So would all these lines be CTA lines? No. Or would some of them do, uh, go into uh, pace lines or metro lines? Uh, so the answer is, given like the state of flux that the transit agencies are in, like, I think God knows you know, I, I, the short answer is I don't know, but like a lot of these projects are commuter rail lines. A lot of these projects are sort of like L lines, and a lot of them, uh, there's actually a network that you can't see in this picture of like uh, arterial rapid transit lines in the suburbs, which are actually pretty cool. Yeah, the ones that are in Georgia, all the states. Yeah, actually, can you go to like one of the uh, ART things? Yeah, so this is Southeast service. This thing is totally red. Um, but but this in particular is pretty cool. So all of this area is basically like there's a, there's a couple of metro lines, but other than that, there's no transit, right? Yeah. Um, but this makes it, these are like 
fast, fast buses with dedicated stations that have the ability to turn the stoplight green, a uh, signal priority as well. And um, what's the other thing? They have these like jump lanes, so they if there's like a traffic jam at a stoplight, they can like get ahead. So it's finally sort of like bringing like rapid transit to a lot of these areas. And so like this isn't all of them. There's a bunch over here, and there's a bunch up here in the north suburbs. One of them is anybody from the north suburbs? No, nobody. Oh. You can get the whole hair from Dempster. All right, so why don't we move on to the next part? This week I'll get out of here. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. What's the thing else? Yeah, yeah. What do we do? What do you need to do? Great right question. Right now. So we didn't exactly expect this website to like kind of blow up as it did. So we had this plan to like put in a little beep. It was like contact your county commissioner. And so we're figuring that out. But the short answer is we have a petition you can sign um, at active trans. That transit future, back to trans slash transit future. <laughs> uh, not yet. We kind of just put this together like, well, we kind of just finished it like over the weekend ish. But, but the short answer is contact your county commissioner. Um, your county commissioner, everyone has one. There's 17 of them. If you live in Cook County, contact them and say, look, I think I think this is really cool. I think we need to build out the transit system. I support transit future. And if you do two, I'll vote for it. And you're cool. Right? So contact your county commissioner. That's the biggest thing. Like, so it's incumbent on us to show the county commissioners that there's support for this in the community. Right? Yeah. So you may have already told you that came in late. Do you have a sense of uh, the economic impact, or how many people have been impacted, or how many hours have been saved? Um, short answer is a lot. Um, long answer is we're. <laughs> Anything else? Those are both pretty short answers. <laughs> 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 more. This campaign is going to go on for a while, so you'll hear more about it. Yeah. Are you guys going to put a list of county commissioners up there? We did. Uh, uh, well, okay. So the deal with that is it's actually kind of a tough question because, like, all their districts are super like wacky shaped, <laughs> and so and then people don't like identify necessarily just, like, other than this particular district. Some people these answers, but like. Uh, we're trying to figure out a way where, like, you can figure out what your commissioner district is, like, click and split. Uh, well, sorry, one more thing. You can go to activetrans.org to sign a petition. Yeah, exactly. So activetrans.org, it's like slash transit future or something like that. Just sign a petition. There's a petition. Sign. Unless you hate us. Right. And, and if you're just seeing this website for the first time, it means that it's not only you, but if you share this Facebook page, everyone in your network probably hasn't seen it either. So you can spread it to people that you know. Uh, and on transitfuture.org, there are links to, I imagine, the petition and this site, which is, is if you can see up there, vision.transitfuture.org. It will work on your phone. It just won't have that kind of like zoom effect. Yeah.